Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Idioms 340. The idiom today is to hear something through the grapevine. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. If someone says that he or she heard something through the grapevine, it means that someone has learned of the information in a very informal way, especially through gossip. Yeah, sometimes we, we hear this like if uh, somebody found out some especially personal information about another person, and if that person finds out, how did you hear? And they say, well, I heard it through the grapevine, usually means that people don't want to say exactly how they heard or who told them. So they will use this phrase that they heard it through the grapevine. Okay. All right. So again, why do we say, uh, that's another one I always wonder, why do we say grapevine? All right. Even though vines are kind of connected, so you can kind of think of something in your mind, but you still didn't quite get the connection. So let's look at the note here so we can kind of clarify this. The origin of this phrase dates back to the Civil War. Uh, one of the earliest telegraph systems was actually called the Grapevine Telegraph. Okay. It originally got the name because the wires often got tangled, you know, twisted together, all tied up, twisted together, like an actual grapevine. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it picked up the nickname. So it was the, called the Grapevine Telegraph. During the Civil War, it was used to communicate information about how the battles were going, like who's winning, who's losing. But it was also used for propaganda, you know, like government propaganda, uh, and fake news. <laughs> Even back at the Civil War, we had fake news. Uh, many people came to realize that information learned through the grapevine telegraph was unreliable. Uh, just in the same way as gossip is, you know, often not always reliable as well. So the two, they made the connection with the two. Thus the phrase, to hear it through the grapevine, was born. So just because you hear something through gossip... You know, you can't always believe it 100%, even though sometimes people think gossip is a little bit of fun and enjoyable. Uh, it's not always true. Sometimes the things are very, very wrong or very, very incorrect. Or, you know, people, one person says something and the story changes as it gets passed around and it ends up being something very different. All right. Anyway, um, let's look at, we have three examples here. Here's the first one. Marvin Gaye had a very famous song, I Heard It Through the Grapevine. Yeah, most Americans probably associate this phrase with that because it became a very, very popular song and it was often used in movies too, in movie soundtracks too. Uh, it was probably one of Marvin Gaye's biggest hits, even though unfortunately Marvin Gaye died kind of young in a very tragic way. Um... But uh, actually, in the song, what it was about was I heard it through the grapevine. I heard it through the grapevine that, you know, um, his, uh, his girlfriend was cheating on him, basically. Uh, so that's how he heard it through the grapevine. And that's the way the song went. Uh, so, okay. Anyway, let's continue. Number two. I heard it through the grapevine that Bob and Jane may be getting a divorce. Okay. Yeah, so that's another way that we might hear it. So you heard it through, you know, informal talk or informal speech, probably gossip. Again, sometimes gossip is correct, but not always. So you can't trust it completely. Uh, number three, I heard it through the grapevine that he was gay. You know, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's true, maybe it's not true. But that's another thing. You heard it through some informal talk and, you know, maybe. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your, uh, thank you for your time. Bye-bye.